done with Kaska. This is business. You can't make a deal with empty hands. But you're too late anyway, fool. I can't give you what you want or get what I want. Just tell me one thing. They used to call you enlightened. What made you change? Hmm. When I was young, I fought to protect my people. And to protect my sickly, weakened wife. I didn't hesitate to risk my life or to spill others' blood on the ground. I was young. I had people to protect. A land to rule. And someone to love. I feared nothing. I thought I could go on bearing every burden. But little by little, like snow piling up on top of me, I was engulfed in burden. Piled up? Oh, cruel time. Time? <laughs> You're young. You don't understand the strain. Unending battles. A turbulent land. Impoverished subjects. A wife who will never recover. It all just got heavier and heavier. Sorrow without end. Expectation turned to frustration, love turned to obligation. Everything I valued was blanketed by fatigue. The only thing holding me up to it all was my attachment to the blood I'd spilled. <sighs> to spill the blood of men, that was the only thing that excited me. Blood smeared everywhere, bathing in its warmth, spilling endless blood. That is all I wanted. But now, that joy seems to be at an end. But what about her? What will happen to her? She's your daughter. Isn't she enough? Can't she be your reason for living? She is not my daughter. She is Annette. My wife. What? She has no idea what's happening. She doesn't know who I am. Each day, I give her the drug extracted from the Mandragora heart. The drug that cures all ills. It cured her every disease, it's true. But that's not the only thing it took away. It took all her memories, her passion. And even the time she spent walking with me is gone. Oh. But what do you mean? Most likely, she will continue forever to spend her days as a giggling child, oblivious. While I am doomed to remember everything. Oh, it's just like gods in Casca. No. You two aren't like that, are you? The path I walk may be stained with blood, but I shall walk it until the end. What?
to. Casca's this way. Rita, quick! Coming. Oh, <laughs> 
back to normal because she was possessed by the Mandragora. It makes sane people crazy, but crazy people sane. Poor Gatsu. So close. Curse fate! It's finally time. For this body to sink into the blood. <laughs> it's so laughable, dear. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Everything seems to have quieted down, eh? Not exactly. Get out of town, you monster! We don't want any Mandragorans like you around here! Get lost! Wait! I I'm not a Mandragoran! It's true. Vicious and cruel. That's what humans are. So, this is where we bid farewell. Rita, are you okay by yourself? You've got to be kidding. I've always been on my own. Don't worry, my little friend. I'm a big girl. Hmm. On your own, you can go where the wind takes you. I wonder if I'll find something someday. Something worth shedding blood over. <laughs> Take care of yourselves.
You too, Rita. What an adventure. I'll remember you all. Forever and ever. Hmm. Forever. Ah! You're a cold fish, as usual. Won't you ever say anything nice for a change? Oh, you got enough mouth for both of us, <laughs> You're always just wrong.